Ben Uba, the documentary. Ben Uba was the most famous guitar player that ever lived. He had mainly to do his lyrics with religion and bestiality. Part one, the death. Here's the house of the famous guitar hero Ben Uber. He has lived here for the past 20 years and the most famous recordings with the Black Hawks and the Asm Chicks have been recorded here. Although this was the last home of Ben Uber that he ever lived in, this was also the last time he ever threw his last retiring concert. He went backstage during an encore to go snort some cocaine and have gay sex with his dogs and his best friend. Apparently this wasn't true. He was later on stabbed in the back alley while he was buying his cocaine before he had the gay sex before the encore with his best friend and his dog. Here was the alley that Mike Hawk was last seen and shot. We actually do have a dramatization, none other acted by moi. Eddie Fluid Waters Johnson was found on this security camera, known to be doing his later on fluid dancing career. He was there practicing and at the same time selling cocaine. Hey man, what's wrong with your dancing? Hey man, why are you making fun of my dancing fault? Hey, I just want some cocaine. Shit, nigga, I ain't got cocaine. Sorry man, I meant white powder. That's it, man. <laughs> nigga, you just stabbed Ben Uber. Ah. Ah. God damn. God, I just guess I'll uh, I'll rest here. Ow! Fucking stabbed. God damn it! From local security cams around the death of Ben Uber, he found out that they mm. actually said before he died, "Man, nigger, you stabbed me. All I wanted was some money, cocaine, and some gay cowboy butt sex in my locker room." We later found drummer Skeletor also finding himself in oh, new movies and like solo career. Ben Uber, the Black Hawks and the Az and Chicks. It wasn't the greatest experience in my life. I mean, I'm doing better right now with my solo career. I mean, as the drummer, you don't get a really lot of popularity, but, you know, I've been doing good. I mean, I never liked really all the songs were about. I mean, songs about love, bestiality, necrophilia, butt sex, drinking, Okay, you know, it, it was just too much for everybody. I mean, I'm amazed that people actually liked his fans, and, you know? I mean, if he opened up a MySpace, he would probably get 200 fans on the first day. Maybe the first, like, minute. So all the things that you said, did Ben Uber do any of those things with you? <laughs> Everything was true. We would snort cocaine at the after party, and then he would take me to the back, and I wouldn't remember what happens. <laughs> Just cut the tape. We never know why God has taken Benuba from this planet, but forever was, God is homophobic. Good night, people. Wait later.